feel you. Ba ba ba. Ba da 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 da. <laughs> Hi. So, I've been in the Pokemon Unite mood. And that's put me in the Pokemon mood. And then, between the fact that Hank moved to Australia, and I'm in the Pokemon mood, I've been needing some fix for playing games or doing something in that vein with you guys. So I thought, why not try this and bring you along on the ride for my weird fake video weirdness of my heart gold Nuzlocke run. I don't entirely know how this is going to go, if I'm going to keep doing it at all. But I figured, I've done a few of these uh, Nuzlocke's in this game, and if any of you care to watch this, I could just be speaking to myself, but even that's just kind of funny. Um, I never uh, go through finishing them. I get about like through the third gym and then my team gets wiped or one Pokemon I like gets killed. And then I just get sad and I, I stop playing. But I figure if somebody is watching, there is, there's accountability there. And I don't know, it just might be a fun thing to share. Um, so if you don't know what a Nuzlocke is, I can get into that info as we say no info needed here from the good old professor sorry to keep you waiting welcome to the world of pokemon my name is professor oak i'm british man but everyone calls me the pokemon professor before we go any further i'd like to tell you a few things you should know about this world this world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. Yes, we all know this. I do love Meryl, though. Meryl's a cutie. When I was a kid, I think I saw, like, Meryl come out in the show. And for some reason, it was, like, this exotic Pokemon that I'd, like, never played with. Like, with the first gen. I don't know if it's gen 2. And I didn't know how to get it, and it was just, like, it was really awesome. Uh, at times we play together, and at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. How exciting. That's kind of what we'll be doing. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Are you a boy or a girl? Would you please tell me? Just go with the classic. The classic boy, John. As, as we do. My name is John, yes, Profess. I am ready, Professor. Tale of Grand Adventure. We'll see. I'm also looking at myself and the webcam on my other screen. If this does continue, I'll look kind of disgusting like this um, with my post-workout clothes and such. Just this grody, sweaty t-shirt. So if, if you just want to direct your attention, I guess it's that way, to the professor. Hopefully he can draw your eyes. Dreams adventure, let's go to the world of Pokemon. See you later, professor. I don't remember if he's the, he's the professor here in this town. Heart, well, I guess gold, not heart gold, is one of the Probably the main Pokemon game I played as a kid, and really one of the only ones I played at all. Gold is is peak is peak Pokemon in my opinion. Not that I played a ton, obviously, just dabbled. Um, but there are a few even extra things that'll be going on here that I can get into once we're through the house. Hi, John, you're finally awake. Ha ha, I'm your mom. Your friend Lyra was just here. She was, a, she has a Meryl too. Everybody's got a Meryl. I don't have a Meryl. 
She was playing hide and seek with her Meryl. Oh, and I almost forgot our acquaintance, Professor Elm, was looking for you. He said he had a favor to ask of you. You know where the lab is. That much I do now. There's like three houses in this town. I'm pretty sure I know the, the one that uh, has all the Pokemon. It's right next door to us. By the way, do you have everything you need to go out in this th three house town? Get lost. Use this bag. And your trainer card, even though you've never done a Pokemon battle. Here you can save a record of your progress. These are always rather helpful. Oh, I can just try touching the buttons. So you know what to do in no time. Thanks, Mom. You always believed in me. And now hopefully... Lyra and her Meryl don't glitch out the emulator. Because right here when I was testing it before, the sprites all went crazy. But it looks like they're okay, so that's good. Meryl's just saying hi. Okay, so... <laughs> in addition to this weirdness, this... That I'm deciding to record it for whatever reason, it seemed fun. Um... It's not going to just be a straight playthrough, if I get that far, of Heart Gold. There is, as I mentioned at the top, the aspect of the Nuzlocke, um, which I imagine a lot of you, <laughs> as if many people are watching, um, know, know what these are. But uh, it's essentially a way to do hard mode Pokemon, make it have a bit higher stakes. Um, so I'm using the normal Nuzlocke rules and a couple of extras just for me that in some cases I think make it more fun, and in some cases I think just, um, up that challenge even a little bit more. So just the regular rules are, uh, if a Pokemon faints, it's dead and you can't use it again. That's really the main one. The second is you can only catch the first Pokemon you encounter in any area or any route. If you're in towns and have the fishing rod and there's water, you can get one there. Or if you happen to have a Pokemon with headbutt, you can uh, headbutt in towns. So it's not just exclusively the routes. And then the only last one for the normal Nuzlocke is that all Pokemon must be nicknamed, just so you have an even greater attachment to them, which I've got an idea for that too. Um, and then my additional rules that I'll run here, run through here quickly are that I'm not going to do any traded, not that I can really trade in the conventional way, um, or gift Pokemon just from the NPCs. I'm not going to use any legendaries just because I think there's too, there's too much, um, power there and they can just carry the team a little bit and then for the starter i'm either gonna do just completely randomly chosen from the three or i'm gonna let any of you who care to maybe follow me on this journey pick the starter uh, if there's more than one person i do it by votes otherwise i'll just do it random um Blacking out, if that ever happens, hopefully not, uh, is just a straight game over. Even if you have other Pokemon in your box that you could use, it's just a game over, and you'd either have to start over or just do a new game completely. And then I'm also going to set the battle mode to set mode, meaning I can't switch out um, any Pokemon, which I can probably do right now. I'll like change the tech speed to fast and the battle style here is set. Which, when you knock out an opponent's Pokemon, normally it says, hey, they're putting in whatever. Um, would you like to switch out? Which basically means you can just type advantage no matter what. Um, so just a little bit of ex extra challenge there. Then I'm not going to over level for gym battles or the Elite Four. I'm going to keep it basically on that same level or just a little like one to two level variation up or down just to keep the team balanced and then i'm not going to look up any pokemon types which will absolutely get me killed well a pokemon killed at least if um 
I keep going on this for any length of time because I don't know the Pokemon types at all. Not only do I not know the matchups, I don't know the um, just the straight types that Pokemon are, other than the basically Gen 1 and some Gen 2, um, which I keep mentioning these uh, different generations because the big thing with this is that I used a randomizer for all wild Pokemon, all trainer Pokemon. Um, I guess that's it, but that's all of them. Um, all items are random as well. Um, HMs and TMs are random. So it's basically a complete crapshoot of what you could get. Minus the legendaries, um, which I think I've excluded, but if I come across any of them, I'll just skip them. And if it's the first encounter I had on that air in that area or on that route, I would just get the next one. So that is basically the overview of what the heck is happening here. Um, so right now, I guess we'll just head on to Mr. Elm. Just creep on arrival here. Can we click on him? Oh, talk, yeah. There he is. So this is the famous M Pokemon Lab. Hey, what are you staring at, bro? <laughs> yeah. You're a jerk. So, this first little recording is probably going to be pretty short here, as it's just going to be the overview, and um, partially just my testing of what the heck I'm doing here. Um, and then we'll see who the starters potentially could be. And I'll give it a day or two, see if anybody has interest in going along with this. Uh, and even if you don't want to watch however long I'm going to be doing this for, um, if you wanted to throw out suggestions of who I should pick, that'd be fun too. And you could just kind of check in for updates. Um, I especially just think the catching mechanics of Nuzlocke being only the first Pokemon you encounter is fun, just seeing what people get. Um, Rich and Hank and I have done a couple kind of simultaneous ones, so this is kind of where that idea came from. Um, so let's take a look at what the starters are, and these will be the options either chosen randomly or by the lovelies. So, hi John, I've been waiting for you. Thank you, Professor Elm, you're very nice. Do you know anything about my research? I don't think I do. As you know, po I just said I didn't know. Pokemon are carried in Pokeballs these days. But before the Pokeball was invented, people used to walk, walk with Pokemon. Just like your friend Lyra does, oh, what a pioneer. Pokeballs are great because you can carry many Pokemon, but walking with Pokemon must have some advantages. It could have something to do with how Pokemon grow or evolve, so I'm going to give you a Pokemon. Thank you. Can you walk beside this Pokemon? That's one reason I'm using Heart Gold. I love that mechanic. It should be in every game. <laughs> Outside of its Pokeball to see if this brings any special feelings or bonds between Pokemon and people. You could choose from... He doesn't even know. He thinks he knows. Oh, uh, hey. Mm -hmm. Yep. Right. There. There's Oak. I knew Oak was in it somewhere. Hey, listen, I have a, or is that the Pokemon Man? Pokemon? I don't remember what that guy's called. But I think he's friends with Oak and then Oak shows up or whatever. Uh, hey, listen! I have this acquaintance that people call Mr. Mr. Pokemon. There you go. Pokemon. What did I call him? <laughs> he keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying that it, uh, this time it's real. It's probably another Pokemon egg, but we're still so busy with our Pokemon research. Wait, I know. You can go in our place, right? Can we count on you? Of course. You can choose from one of the Pokemon over there. Um, yes, he mentioned the Pokeballs, and I, I had another thought. One other thing with the Nuzlocke is that um, all of those extra rules don't actually come into effect until you have your Pokeballs. I don't know why that's the starting point, it just is. Uh, it makes it 
so you don't die immediately, I guess, and then uh, have to just restart completely after a few minutes. But so this is this is the big moment, seeing which starters we randomed into. I think for heart from for gold and heart gold. Normally they are Chikorita, Cyndaquil, and Totodile. I think that's this gen. But you'll see that that is very unlikely to be what's in here, um, <laughs> unless we had the uh, the weirdest random in the world. But uh, very unlikely. So let's see. We got Porygon. He's cute. I, I'm a fan of Porygon, I know he's not good. And that's part of the reason these Nuzlocks are so fun. You just use things that you normally never would. But, I mean, look at him. That's that's a good Pokemon design. We got... <laughs> okay. Um, so I guess we got two starters to choose from. Game, I thought I told you not to do this, especially in the starters, but... Entei's here. <laughs> I, I did, yeah. I almost wish that didn't happen because it kind of limits the pool. But uh, it's it's cool. He's a cool guy. And Dratini. I mean, uh, that's classic. Um, uh, that would definitely be a strong starter. With the uh, three evolution line, obviously, into Dragonite. Um, so, I guess we've got either Dratini or Porygon, probably. So, either the gods will determine um, one of those two. Or uh, I'll let you guys decide, uh, depending on if there's any, any desire to do so. But that's what we're looking at so far. And I will go ahead and pause here for the moment and await with bated breath the, the start of a new Nuzlocke. Nothing but opportunity, especially with the randomizer. So if you watch this, that's, that's, that's nice of you. Thanks for looking at my face. I mean, if you want to join in, with with the Nuzlocke at the same time, like Rich and I and Hank have done, that'd be fun. But uh, if you're even interested in this, without doing that, that that's cool. So thanks. Um, I'll see you next time.